Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 26 of this Let's Play Prophecy of Pendle. We have some things to do today. One of the ongoing like, discussions on the forums and on the comments is to whether horses actually contribute, oops, that's not horses, that's horses, contribute to the speed of your party uh, or not, and whether it's good that it speeds up or all equipment. So what we are going to do is we're going to make our way over to, which one is it that sells flax? Valambre, I think. No, it's Travix. No, we'll go to Valambre and then Travix Hall. We'll buy a bunch of flax there and then ship it up to Avendor because we know that's one of the trade routes which really does work very well. Uh, before I do that, let me check if I have any quests. I'm pretty sure I don't. I think they come in notes, don't they? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. <laughs> Sorry, Haji Cyrus Khan. It's not going to happen. What are your specials? Nothing. Okay. So we are going to check out to see if that goods carrying thing is correct or not. We're not going to test with a number of horses or anything like in depth. This is purely a before horses we are moving at. 5.7, and then after horses will move at dot 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 question mark. Of course, we might go and kill these raiders on the way. Will we catch them? Yeah. We're right next to Valenbre, so we'll be able to sell any loot that we grab from them. Talking, Indeed, less talking and more raiding. Okay, infantry. There, oh, yeah. archers. There, stand closer, especially infantry. Right. Infantry. Oh, they're charging us. Infantry there. Archers there. Mascaries usually don't charge. That was quite a, kind of a surprise. Whoops, swung straight over his head. Twice I've just missed. There you go. Alright, let's put the infantry a little bit closer. In fact, we can just charge at the infantry at this stage. Oh, there's lots of people throwing stuff at me. I'm not appreciating that. Haha. <laughs> Ah. ah, stop doing that swing. Victory is ours. Marvellous. Okay, sorry, I need to set up my alarm very quickly. Usually I pause when I do this. I always seem to forget, but I do need to do this. Okay, otherwise I'll just get carried away and then realise this recording is actually about three hours longer than it should be. Access item pool, anything I will. Ooh, Lordly Mail Hubuck. Nice. I'm pretty sure one of the medics will take that. Oh, Donovan got it. Well, it will certainly be passed down. This was well worth doing. Cha-ching. Uh, we're right next to town. Just grab the lot. Dark Steel Hunter, speed 41. You are definitely faster than that guy. Okay, Valenbre. We'll do some quick upgrades. Not them. You. Uh, Leslie, we knew leveled up. Okay, let's sell this stuff and then we'll check our speed. Because I will be carrying some more food stuffs because we managed to loot some of those fish. I'll probably sell two of them and need one. This was not where that stuff was. I didn't think so. See, grapes and olives aren't really worthwhile as food because you only get 10 out of 10, while fish and grain is like 50 out of 50. They do give you quite a lot. Of them. Olives don't give you much morale. Grapes do. 
Well, fish. People must really like fish. Okay, quickly look in the tavern, see if any of my companions are here. Ooh, heavy foot oh, yes, please. I do still have Donovan. Elisa, Randolph, no. Okay, so now we go up to Travick's home, which is where I think the um, flax is actually sold from. We are currently moving at 5.6, probably because of the extra troops that we picked up. Not passing any advanced carriers. Well, we, we did, but I'm not going to chase them. Axeman. It's night time, so that's not a good indicator. Late night, dawn. There we are. 5.6 still. There is a ton of flax here. That'll do. Go to the tavern. Highlanders. Oh, I could do the Highlanders. River I don't want. Okay, let's just do a very quick, totally unscientific test. So, without... Sorry, with horses, we are moving at 5.4. We probably could load up on more flax. We'll see if that makes a difference. Well, it, it did make a, make a difference at 0.2, didn't it? And then with the horses, I'm going to stick them in the dye works inventory for a moment. And someone did mention that I could leave, like my various loot down here. I'm not going to do that in case I lose access to it. Um, I'd much rather have my own castle. I don't mind carrying it around in the short term. And we are still 5.4. I'm going to buy some more flax. Just to make this as scientific as possible. Like the difference as big as possible. It's gone down in price already. Wow. Okay. So we are moving at 5.2. Now we're going to grab our horses. And we are moving at 5.3. So yes, horses do speed you up. Confirmed. I'll need to do that test with horses, uh, with just my army though. So that will be much more difficult to test because I'm not sure my army will be big enough. That'll be easier to do once you have like a force limit of, or a party size of 200 or something, or more. Oh, that's a point. When we convert to the new patch, I'm not going to have my renown anymore. And that's really what the early battles are all about, is building up that renown. What is my renown right now? 606. I'll be losing all of that. I'm just going to have to grind that up when I restart the game uh, before I start recording so these are the stats I'll need to kind of remember I need to get my honor up honor you get for uh, releasing lords instead of ransoming them but we have a pretty big war chest at this point so I shouldn't need to ransom them anymore oh we're being attacked come face me as long as you're not scorpion assassins because that would be annoying snake cultists Three of you. Come on, I'm the one who's hiding, not you guys. Do 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 do. do. Hello. Gonna come forwards a bit. No. Okay. <laughs> Got stuck on the wall there. Whoops. Ow. Stop it. Ow. One, three. Yes, I know there is a two between one and three. It just happened so quickly I didn't get time to say it. There's the tavern. Eric Sara was one of mine. Welcome back. Rain was not. Mercenary crossbows. No, not going to. I'll take the Barkley guys because they're pretty good for their money. That's a terrible price. I think that's still profit and the rest we'll just have to keep. Maybe we'll go down to Sarlio and see if we can sell some more. Maybe Marleyans. Yeah, let's do Marleyans. And then we'll go into the Empire lands and see if we can do some damage. Except I am low on troops. Should be... I should have recruited a bunch more troops when I was still in um, Fiersvane territories. Oh well. And as we were speaking about the um, new update, I'm pretty sure that will be released on the 22nd in the evening 
of the 22nd uh, US time. The last build should be in by this evening. And then after that we are testing. And that is a lot of brand like brigands. Let's see if I can grab some. Yes, I know I'm being chased by Mr. Shadow Legion. That is a lot of bandits. Wow. Go, 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 go. Catch them. I'll go up to them. I want to try and grab all of them as well. Nope. I think it was just the one unit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, U, F2, F6. Infantry. There. Archers. There. Everyone stand closer. Infantry. Even more so. And we're in a terrible position because we're looking up a hill. I'd much rather be on the hill, except they're probably charging us. Yes, they are. Infantry. There, archers, there, move. Just make them hold their fire so if the enemy does come into range, we'll keep moving into position. Now you can shoot, just in time. That rogue knight did not last very long. Wow. Oh, it's a lancer. See what we can do. Just don't couch me. Didn't do enough. Alright, you lot deal with them. I'll get the archers. Oh, they have another spearman. Last man standing. Missed me. Oh, what? <laughs> Fierce Vein Heavy Archer got a headshot just before I reached him. Cheeky. Don't want the refugee. I don't want to level you. I do, however, want to level you. We're getting a lot of armored axe, man. This is good. Anything I want? No. That's one of the shields that's being redone. I know that because it's the uh, design changes slightly. It's now more of a grey... No, it is still a red cross. We actually sent that back to the artist because the he came back with a grey cross and it looked kind of weird. Grey cross and a grey background. But he, he added the red cross again. Um, access what you want and then I'll sell the rest. So there is definitely kind of a back and forth process when uh, new assets are sent to us from the artists. Very talented team. We kind of go back and forth on whether the quality is up to scratch, whether there's any changes in the design that we'd like. Um, some lord based changes, so if one of the uh, designs is incorrect for the faction or for the order or whoever it's meant to represent. Grabbed one. That's yeah, a more fair fight. Still going to destroy them. Infantry, archers. Stand closer, stand closer. Oh, they're in range ready. Wow. Wait, why are the... Why are you running up? Oh, for goodness sake. Ah! I'm going to lose more men here than I'd hoped. Just because it's all split up, because the archers decided to run in front. Did I do that, or was that just a bug? I hope I didn't do it. Ow. Okay. And one of the other questions that was asked by doo -doo -doo -doo. Knight von Winter, how much of a backstory is there to Pendor? Because I've been giving little snippets here and there. And whether it's all kind of compiled into like pages or a book or whatever, well, no, it's we we work from a, a forum, and all of the story and the lore and everything is done on those forums, and that means that there are lots of like independent threads depending on who we are talking about. So, for instance, the dawn when we were talking about the dawn, the eventide, and the twilight, 
that was an all in one thread, which means that if we want to get back to that information, then we can just go back onto that. There probably is an absolute ton of information that was never released. It's kind of, we have a lot of answers to the kind of unanswered questions. So we may know precisely what is going on. Although in game that's never fully revealed. Although some of the things remain unanswered, like are the eventides really as bad as they're made out to be? We haven't decided. That's completely left up in the air purposefully, so we don't know and you don't know. There are some other things that we do know about, like um, the origin of the Knights of the Lion and just how King Ulrich came into power. That's hinted at, but is never overtly said. Um, and then things like uh, Shadow Legion. Are they really with the Snake Cult? We know, you don't. And these, these, this adds interest because you can kind of create your own ideas about what's going on. We know the canon, but we don't want to tell you the canon because that actually reduces the impact of what's going on in the game. I mean, you want to make guesses and it's, it's your own interpretation of the facts that you are given that kind of frames your own game world and your own interaction within that world. So while you might think it's right to side with or against a certain faction, that's up to you and that's up to your interpretation. And we don't really want to colour that. That's that's part of the fun. That's not making profit. Havendor is definitely the best place. But I want to get rid of these. I want to carry them. I need more food. I really need more food. Wow. Food, food, food. None of these towns are selling much food. So yeah, there's basically huge, long, rambling threads about all kinds of things. It gets really interesting because we take all kinds of uh, references for the work that we do. Law in particular, which is where I'm most involved. That can be anything from historical, mythological, a mixture of the two. It can be stuff that we've literally just made up. Um, like Bacchus Empire, a great example. They obviously have some similarities to the Roman Empire, but we've added our own elements to it, like the war against the snake cult. There's more religious tension going on than there probably was in the Roman Empire, except with the coming of Christianity, I guess. But then there are differences, like the brief that I gave the Pendor 4 developers when we were designing the Bacchus, Bacchus Empire back in Amala, which is actually the homeland. This is only a small branch of basically the empire invaded Pendor. And this is what they managed to hold on to. And then when Amala fell, this was kind of the holdout. So there's a bit of a difference between the new empire, which is these guys, and the old empire, which is um, across the sea in Amala. And I've totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, um, so the briefing I gave was, imagine the Roman Empire, if they'd survived into the Middle Ages, how would they function? How would they be organized? How would they look? How would, how would their armies fight? And that's where we went from and it's a very similar idea to how the empire here i think was conceived that was before my time i must admit but it is basically a medieval roman empire you want to keep the the famous heavy infantry legions but you also want to mix things up a bit more with the cavalry and crossbows and the like i mean if you've played attila total war which by the way is a really good game um you can kind of see them doing that there so what if the Ro what if the western roman empire had survived this long if you play as Western Rome and actually manage to survive, which, trust me, is not as easy as it sounds. Yeah, I really like Attila. It really changes up how things work in Total War. Oops. Another little fact of the Total War series, their company, Creative Assembly, is only about 15 minutes away from where I live. Very close. This is a bigger group than I realised. And I actually once had a recruiting session with one of their people about whether I should join them. I didn't in the end. Well, I didn't apply. We were just talking about what if. Though that would be pretty cool, I must admit. But I have my own things to be doing right now. Some of which I hope I can share with you in the not-so-distant future. We're just not quite ready to go properly public with it. Okay, another victory. Marvellous. Another upgrade. Axeman. Archer. Another Huskarl. Yay! 
Okay. Anything I want? Nope. Anything you want? Nope. We'll sell the rest. Okay, we will go to Sarleone, we will sell this, and then we're going into the Empire. Can't, still can hardly believe just how many brigands there were there. Clearly the Lords of Sarleone have not been doing their jobs. It's usually their patrols pick them up, or the uh, militia patrols and things. And that, interestingly, is one of the really finely balanced things that we need to look out for when designing this. Like... Uh, Saxon Dragon wanted to improve the early game by adding the number of early spawns. Well, one, the engine simply couldn't handle it, so it kept crashing. That was one of the reasons the early builds of this patch, so 3.7, were so unstable. is because we'd added so many small parties. But it also has other effects, like if you have a lot of brigands and stuff running around, then peasants won't get back to the towns, which means the towns stop growing, which means all of the properties stop giving the lords so much money, so the lords are then a lot smaller, their armies. And then eventually when you become king... Like, uh, your own fiefs will start producing much less money than you would ordinarily be used to. Everything is interconnected. I think that's one of the really interesting things about this game. Have you actually leveled up, or are you just showing me that you can get more skills? No. How close are you? Not very. Oh, man. <laughs> Where are you? Stack art, which is over there, right there. So he is probably chasing after whoever's been looting that stuff. The Sharon Fierce Fang Truce has expired. There he is, just chilling on his own. And here's the Dashar army. Yikes! Yeah, I'm just going to say I've I've met you, and I'm going to run off. Because I ain't going to fight that. No way. Well, I might try and tease out that 50-man or 40-man army, though. Yeah. No, not all of you. No. Yes, that'll do. No, so that, 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 that's the really big army, isn't it? Bugger. Um, eight soldiers. Ah. Uh, yes, I can't take that many. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jocelyn, Sarah, and Donovan all hated that. Oh well. All I want to do is grab them. But I'm not going to be able to. We'll go and hide in Sarleon. In fact, what art troops do you actually have? Oh, you have all the temptresses. Yeah, no. I'm glad I chickened out of that one. I mean, Ardashir Khan I almost certainly could have beaten. Because he doesn't have anything special and he's a small party. But my own group is not so big anymore. Um, tavern. I forgot to check this. No. 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 Whoops. Do you have anything for me? No, you don't. Okay. And speaking actually of like how much law there is. There's quite a lot on the forums, like old stories and things. The very, very beginning of... Are you running faster than me? Jeez, you are. No, you're not. Oh, it's because I was running through that little forest at the time. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot on the, the Tailworld forums, not the De Dev forums. Um, the beginning of Mettenheim, which was a short story I wrote about Frederick of Mettenheim, and that eventually became a new faction. So you can find it in very odd places. Tattoo tribes have raised an army. Oh yeah, I was meant to go and see someone. What was it? Caduan, wherever he's gone. Is that you? Yes. You've really got a very big army there, Marshal. <laughs> Wait, I thought you just told me to go and speak to you. Oh, you told me to follow you. Okay. All right, then I'll follow you. Not too sure precisely what you're planning to do, but I'll follow you. Who can I kill you? Oh, don't tell me we're planning to fight them. 
Ah, oh, between the two of us we could take that, surely. Wait. Guardian Empire Knights, they're not... Um, circle. Ah, oh, stop running away, you bloody coward. Nope, not quite close enough. Ah, night time. That no. <sighs> Come back here. Ah, oh, it's risky. What troops do you have? You do have a lot of top tier troops, actually. Oh, and you have rogue, no, rogue knights and lions. Yeah, this is one we can definitely do. So come closer. No, stop. Yes, we got this. Boom. So 102 against 122. I think we got this though. Our army is all right. So two of six infantry line up there. Archers here. Stand closer, especially infantry. Okay, their infantry is sprinting off their cavalry. However, they are keeping in reserve. We need to keep up with their army, though. We cannot afford to be split up for this fight. I think I'll be taking more of a tactical role Archer. in this one. So I'll probably stick back with the archers, make sure the infantry are doing what I expect them to do, and then join the fight myself. They are charging us. We're just having a bit of a shooty time. Shooty time, it looks like. Let's put our in archers there and our infantry a little behind. We want our archers to get involved in the shooting. Put our archers there. Okay. See what we can do. You're letting us go in the front row, thanks. They're just skirmishing. Yeah, kind of. That's low level troops though, you can kind of see from the armour, it's the kind of padded armour rather than heavy armour. There we go, we've killed one. Is that going to make them charge us? Yes. Archers, get back. Infantry, take the front. Oh, we're charging them too. Okay, interesting. Archers go here. Infantry go there. We'll try and take them from the side. We'll go and help them with this guy. I got him. Good. Let's move our infantry down the hill a little bit more. Did not mean to just kick there. Sorry, I'm being very quiet because I'm actually having to kind of concentrate on this one. I have no idea how we're actually doing here. I think we're doing pretty well though, going by the number of green hills. Teamwork. Some heavier guys coming in. Gladiator. Sweet. I like killing gladiators, that means a lot of experience. And those guys are good at blocking. Alright, infantry charge. We need to take down their archer groups. But I think we've got this, we've beaten their infantry. And now we're in with their crossbows. Still do a lot of damage to me, to be fair. <laughs> that was just a miss. Okay, this has been a very good battle, actually. Well done, people. Well done. Yeah, we've definitely got this now. Sweet.
21 kills. Nice. Victory is ours. And that is the power of tactics. We hung back a little. We tried to shoot their crossbows with our own archers. We defeated their infantry in a running line battle just in front of our archers. And then we swept up their archers in a final attack. That's how an infantry army fights. We did suffer heavy casualties. I'll fully admit that. Did we lose any Huskarls? Doesn't look like it. We lost a bunch of our armoured axemen, though. Oh, we did lose Huskarl. And our ally didn't take much. Wow. We suffered way more than our ally did. Where were all of his troops? And then, yeah, we, we did a ton of damage. I'm going to allow you to go. And he was one of the not-so-nice uh, people. We will take these captives. We will definitely take the Sarleone Squire at Arms. And you. And you. And you. Probably not you. I'll leave you and I definitely don't want you. Upgrade. I'll move these two down. Good fight. Definitely a good fight. Ooh. Those are better than what I have. 42, 52, nope. Take what you need. Oh, nice amount of loot from this. Nice. Yeah, taking down armies who are bigger than yours usually leads to some really nice money. Char freaking ching. Then we'll go and talk to Baron Kedden and say, nice one, dude. And hopefully we'll get more relations with him. This guy's really beginning to like us. You have the look of someone with strong will. He didn't give me any relations, so I guess it's because I started the fight and he supported me. Eh, oh well. Anyway, I think that is the end of this episode. We've covered everything I wanted to. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you've been enjoying this. I'm pleased that we finally managed to confirm that horses do indeed speed your party up when you have goods. Though you need a fair amount was the other determination from that experiment. If you have any tips or advice, or if you just want to continue discussing the various things that we have been bringing up, it's really interesting. I really enjoy talking to you. Please do keep those comments coming. I very happily read them, and I try to respond where I can, either as a reply there or in a video like this. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.